this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs and today's video I'm going to show you how to make round cotton washcloths. Now these are great for washing your face, they're also great for bathing the babies and they're also great for doing the dishes if you don't want to use a scrubby and you just need a small washcloth. They measure about um, three and a half inches across so they're a nice size. Today we're going to be using sugar and cream cotton. Now you can use the uh, peaches and cream. You can use I love this cotton. Any kind of cotton will work and you can use variegated or solid. I'm going to be stitching today with our H hook. You're also going to need a needle with a nice big eye for weaving in your ends and you'll also need a pair of scissors. Now this is a free pattern on my blog. It's just called the Round Cotton Washcloth and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath the video. So go grab you some cotton yarn and your H hook and we'll make some washcloths. To get started we're going to begin with a slip knot And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to begin by placing eight single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So there's the first chain, here's the second chain. Put your hook in, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through both loops. That's a single crochet. So now we need to make seven more single crochets in this same chain so that we have eight single crochets. There we go. Move my string over there. Okay. All right, let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. All righty. So there's eight single crochets. We're going to join to the top of the first single crochet. Put your hook through, pull a loop through, then pull that loop through the loop on your hook. And then we'll chain one. That's our first row. For row two, we're going to place two single crochets in each of the stitches. So then we started with eight and we should have 16 at the end of this row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen, sixteen. So there's row two, sixteen single crochets. We're going to join to the top of that first single crochet with a slip stitch and, and chain one. We have 16 single crochets. We joined and chained one. And now for row three, we're going to place one single crochet in the first single crochet and then two single crochets in the next single crochet. One, two, one, two, all the way around. One single crochet in the next. Two single crochets in the next. And we'll do this all the way around this row. One single crochet. Two single crochets. 
one single crochet, two single crochets all the way around this row. For row three, one and two, one and two, one and two, all the way around. So for row three, we did one single crochet, two single crochet, one, two, one, two, all the way around for a total of 24 single crochets. We're going to join to the top of that first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. And that was row three. For row four, <clears throat> we're going to place one single crochet in the first two single crochets. And then two single crochets in the next one. So we'll be doing two and two. One single crochet, one, two, in the next two stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. One single crochet, one single crochet, there we go, and two single crochets, one and two. And we'll repeat the two and two, two single crochets, one in, e one in each of the next two single crochets, and then two single crochets, one single crochet in the next two stitches and two single crochets in the next all the way around and this is going to give us a total of 32 single crochets so we went from 8 to 16 to 24 and on this row we'll have 32 single crochets so I finished the fourth row should have a total of 32 single crochets Again, I'm going to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. Now for the next row, we're doing something similar, only instead of two single crochets, we're doing three. So we'll put one single crochet in the next three single crochets. And then two single crochets in the next. So we're doing three and two. One single crochet in the next three single crochets. And then two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next three single crochets, one, two, and this is three, and then three single crochets, whoops, two single crochets in the next, got on a rhythm of threes. So we're doing one, two, three single crochets, one in each of the next three stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. So we're doing three and two all the way around for this row. And this is going to give us 40 single crochets. So there's my three, one, two, three, and then two single crochets in the next. All the way around, three and two. Join to the first single crochet and chain one. All right, now we're on to our sixth row. And our sixth row is similar to the uh, other rows, only we're doing four single crochets before we do our two together. So we're gonna put one single crochet in the first four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then two single crochets together. One, two and this is the way row six will go one single crochet in the next four single crochets then two single crochets in the next one and two 
And again, we're going to repeat this all the way around. Four single crochets, two single crochets. Four single crochets, two single crochets. One single crochet in the next four stitches. One, let's see, one, two, three, four, and then two single crochets in the next. And we'll repeat this all the way around, and then we'll join to the first single crochet. And this is our last big round, and then our, la our next round will be to add our peacock stitches. So here's our first six rows, all single crochet. And don't worry about this little hole. I'll show you how to come back in and close that hole up with our needle when we're finished with this row. So what we're going to do for our last row, there we go, is we're going to do a picot stitch. So what we'll do is we'll place a single crochet in the first four stitches, one, two, three, Four. Then we'll chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to come down to this loop and go through our single crochet and slip stitch. So we'll pull the yarn through and then through the loop on your hook. And that's your peacock, that little bump. And then we'll single crochet in the next four single crochets. One, two, three, four. You see that little bump that we made? That's your peacock. Let's do another one. One, two, three chains. We're going to slip stitch back in that single crochet, and I go through both the loops of the single crochet. We're going to pull our yarn through those loops, then pull it through the loop on the hook, and then single crochet in the next four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. See that? Make those little bumps. All right, let's do one more just to make sure. Chain three, one, two, three. Put your hook through the single crochet to make a slip stitch. Go through those loops, then go through the loop on your hook, and that's it. Single crochet in the next four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And that just makes a fun little edge on your washcloth. So if you don't want to do the peacock stitches, you don't, you can leave this row off or you can do the peacock stitches. I just love them. I think they're fun. And we'll do this all the way around four single crochets and a peacock, four single crochets and a peacock, four singles and a peacock, all the way around, and then we'll join to the top of that chain one and tie off. All right, I'm going to do one more just to make sure you got it. We're going to chain three. We're going to put our hook through that single crochet Pull our yarn through those loops and the loop on your hook, and that's it. And single crochet in the next four. And that's it. Super easy, super fun edge. All right, keep going all the way around. We'll join to our first single crochet and tie off. I finished my peacock edge. I joined to the top. There we go. 
and I'm going to cut my yarn and tie off. Now let's turn it over to the back because we need to weave in this end and we also need to close this little hole. So let's do the little hole first. We're going to use this piece of yarn to thread onto our needle. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch around those first single crochets of the first row of eight that we put in. There we go. We'll just go right in the sides of those single crochets of those eight in the first circle where we started and just gently pull that through and you'll notice as you gently pull on it that hole will close. Make sure you get in the stitch not the hole. I get right in that hole. There we go. And then I'll pull it closed to get that hole closed up. And then I usually go up a stitch and I kind of go back the way I came. And that's going to keep it nice and tidy. Because this is a washcloth, it's going to go through the laundry quite a bit. So we want to make sure that that's going to stay put. I'm going to make one more stitch. Just like that. Give it a good hard snug pull and clip that stitch or clip that yarn. All right. Now we need to weave in the one that we started with. So we're just going to weave that on. We're just going to go to the back. And make some stitches and I'll do the same thing make sure again when you're weaving in your ends that you go through stitches and not the holes so you go one way there we go and then you go back the other way do that a couple of times give it a little bit of a pull clip the yarn and there you have it, a nice little washcloth to wash your face. Now, if you want to make two washcloths, before you put the peacock row on, you can put them together and then stitch around the edge going through both thicknesses to make a washcloth that you can slide your hand in and use both sides. That's just something fun that some people like to do. I just like them just like this. They work great for washing my face. I even clean the sink with them sometimes when I'm done. I'll wash my face, clean the sink, toss it in the laundry. Perfect little round washcloths.